lovely style of dry. Certainly when the bigger sizes like this would be ideal. Uh, big dry flies like this for me, for larger than maize or duns that's coming off, especially early in the season. Or if you're looking for a big dry, uh, normally in the bigger waters we like you could fish like the tweed in places like that and this type of fly can easily be seen in the rough water and uh, but certainly worth doing. You can sort of change it to suit other colours yourself. Now what I'm going to do is this is a B170 size 12. So here I'm going to use is a light olive uni in AO. I'm just going to run the wax through it just to get plenty, make sure we've got plenty of grip. Now I'm going to start the thread at the eye, take it halfway down and then come back up and we form a small ball of the thread just a head size from the eye. It's going to be three hackles in this fly. The first one, this is a cheap, end, cheap Indian cape, so I'm going to use a cock cape. This was a, a, a Cree or a grizzly type and I've dyed it just a light or a light dun or grey. And basically start off with a shorter hackle or a short hackle. And don't be shy with the hackle size. Now just remove the fluff from the bottom. We tie it forward with the good side or the front of the hackle facing myself. Then I'm going to come down about a third of the way and remove the waste. Now I use a fine pair of hackle pliers when I don't use my fingers. These are the ones. It's very light. And I'm going to wind down. First turn of that there is slightly twisting the way but don't worry. Just, just work away with it. Draw any fibres that may be going back over the eye, draw them towards the eye. And just keep going. Try and use up quite a bit of the hackle. If that happens, and it does, just go back, tighten back up, and don't worry about it unless it breaks halfway, but that's okay. Sometimes it will lay, it will sit better for you. Build up your hackle. Just keep going to you're happy enough and I'm fine with that. If you can't, I've caught some of these fibers, so I'm just going to draw them forward. Break that off. A bit more wax on the thread. And I'm going to come in with the olive. Tie the exact same way. Just remove the fluff from the bottom. Tie it forward with the good side again with the hackle facing you. Come down. Cut away or break away the waste. And then back to my hackle pliers and do the same again. Just take your time. I've kept a hold of the hackle there, so blow away anything inside the hackle. Just wind down. It's fine. Then trim away this time. Just draw it towards the eye. Make sure it's tidied up at the back. Now, the final hackle is a partridge dyed yellow. It's a brown partridge. Just remove the fluff from the bottom. Now, to grab the tip, use your hackle pliers, it's much easier just to come in. See where the stem's going. Get the tip of the feather, draw back what you need for the, the hackle. And again, we tie with the good side of the feather to myself, tip towards the back, and go in. Just make sure there's wax on my thread. So there's plenty of grip. 
can break that off. Come in with hackle pliers again. And then just take your time at this point and then work your way down, winding the hackle. Any fibres you see are going forward, just draw them back. Don't be shy with the hackle. Because that's the style of the flight. And I'm going to come in at the back. And break this off. I'm just going to whip finish and use my fingers. So just basically thread coming from the hook, wind over the thread coming from the bobbin. Just manoeuvre your fingers so that you're encouraging that. Now you can use a dubbing needle. I'm just going to use the whip finishing tool to bring the thread up. Trim away. Because what we're going to do now is use a piece of, this is just a bit of silicon tubing to hold the hackle over the eye. So let's take it off the vise, through, back on, make sure the hook's sitting right, draw that forward, come in with the thread, just tie it on at the back, break away your waist, get down to basically in line with the barb of the hook. Tail fibres, I'm going to use some white and cock de Leon, and this colour is grey. Bring the fibres 9th degree from the stem, just bring them out. Tips of the line up, tear them off the, the hackle. You're looking length, at least the length of the hook. So I'm going to do a turn on the top, come underneath with the thread, keeping hold of the ends of the cock de Leon. Let them go once you're by. And then you do a turn on top to lock them in. Trim these a full length of the body area, just so it balances it out when you wind up. Now for the bodies, the dyed olive quill, stripped to the herald, a peacock quill. Just offer it to the side, wind our thread up. Now we're going to come into the stem slightly. With the thread, just build up the thread a wee bit just to so you get form that taper. Do there. Get some, I'm going to use some super glue which will help protect the quill onto the thread and then you can either rub it or have it in touching turns. Wind up the quill nice and tight. Need another turn, all the way around, just take your time, come up with the thread with a turn, and then I'm going straight in and whip finish with my fingers again, placing each turn over the thread coming from the bobbin. Three turns is fine, keep things tight and bring the loop up to tie off your whip finish. Trim away, you break away the quill, trim away your thread obviously, I'm going to have to cut it away. Basically that's it, now you can varnish this if you want, just get a very thin varnish, and then just all the way around, spreading out the varnish. This will last a long time, make sure it's up against the over your thread turn is where you finish. Basically allow that to dry but to show you I'm going to let this go. And there we are. There's your the hackle style.